Since the beginning of time, man has searched for different and more exotic materials for use with the pigments used in their art. From simple cave paintings many tens of thousands of years ago to the perfection seen from masters during the Renaissance, none have ever been as interesting as our next artifact. Known as Han Purple, it has been found on relics dating back 3,000 years. Used in wall paintings, on the terracotta warriors, ceramics, metalwares, and jewelry, the pigment found its way into many ancient Chinese art and amazingly, this intriguing pigment is a technological wonder. It was such an enigma made through such a complex process using many different materials in precise proportions and then heating the mixtures to incredible temperatures. Researchers at the British Museum have discovered that when the pigment is exposed to an LED light source, Han purple pigment will emit a powerful ray of light in near-infrared. According to their study, published in the journal Analytical and Bioanalytical Chemistry, the Han purple pigments show up with startling clarity when under the right conditions, meaning that even faint traces of the color which are invisible to the naked eye can be seen with infrared sensors a complex pigment clearly developed for complex applications. Unlike natural dyes found within antiquity, which are organic compounds, Han purple is a synthetic pigment made from inorganic materials. Scientist Elizabeth Fitzhugh, a conservator at the Smithsonian, was the first to identify the complex synthetic compound that makes up Han purple, including a barium copper silicate. How these ancient people acquired such knowledge is clearly a question which needs to be answered. And although many people often scoff at ancient alien theories, quantum physicists from Stanford, Los Alamos National Laboratory, and the Institute for Solid State Physics of Tokyo have reported that when Han purple is exposed to extreme cold and a high magnetic field, the chemical structure of the pigment enters a new state called the quantum critical point, in which three-dimensional materials loses a dimension. We have shown for the first time that the collective behavior in a bulk three-dimensional material can actually occur in just two dimensions," Ian Fisher, an assistant professor of applied physics at Stanford said in the Stanford report. The researchers have said that the discovery may help understand the required properties of new materials, including more exotic superconductors. Was this marvelous pigment a gift from somewhere else? We find the evidence to be highly compelling. Over the last few years, more and more modern technologies have been utilized by individuals with access to them in an effort to not only expose the truth regarding the real history of man, but to discover the actual original size of these now lost civilizations' ancient ruins. Many sites have been laid to waste, not only by future settlements and tomb robbers, but by Mother Nature herself many of these most impressive sites having endured eons of erosion after being mysteriously abandoned, exposed to the elements. Yet there exists a number of these sites which have been somewhat protected from these forces. Although vegetation can have a catastrophic effect, uprooting the megalithic foundations of these sites, yet the actual footprint of these structures, and indeed the overall size of these once lost settlements, can still be seen through modern penetrative radar with one of the most incredible found in the past few years, undoubtedly the mega metropolis hidden beneath the dense forests of Guatemala. Although some clearings dotted within this landscape have been spared, somehow avoiding the suffocation of trees, it has been discovered that these sites, long argued as separate sites of habitation, were in reality once part of the same gigantic city, one of unimaginable size and complexity that was unquestionably home to not mere thousands, but was in fact a settlement that was home to more than 10 million. Yet although this reality is a compelling, supportive fact regarding our own beliefs, in regards to a far greater now hidden and widely ignored history of mankind, there are still features of this ancient site that is still attempted to be ignored, overlooked, and hopefully concealed from the majority of the world's population, ultimately avoiding them questioning the true reality of what they have been taught, and the possible truth regarding our history, which these sites could provide to all those who gaze upon them.
Although these particular megalithic blocks somehow stood on their heads, have been explored and exposed for nearly a hundred years, with many photographic expeditions having been made to these sites, it has now been proven that these megalithic blocks were not merely signposts made of stones in situ, but were clearly stones cut and once transported to their current location, and were actually strategically placed within one huge mega-settlement. This fact is attempted to be stifled, avoiding individuals questioning how, if indeed they were transported and cut by our more recent ancestors, the Mayans, how they actually accomplished this feat, when they clearly required now lost techniques and technologies, as although they were far more primitive, technologically speaking to the modern man, with us only accomplishing such abilities within the last century, all thanks to modern technology. This is clearly an identifying feature, which exposes the true capabilities of the builders of this enormous city, and the fact that although academics would like to argue that it was merely a Mayan settlement, it possesses, like so many other astonishing sights on Earth, as yet unexplained enigmas, which not only fly in the face of this explanation for their origins, but actually suggest that they were merely re-inhabited by the Mayans allowing archaeologists to point the finger at such a group due to their archaeological fingerprint having been left at the location, sites which were in fact built by a now lost yet once highly capable ancient civilization that due to their immense age has now been lost to history, like so many of their ancient settlements, lost to the sands of time, with only the foundation of which now survive, thankfully exposed by modern technologies. Who were these ancient people? How or indeed why did they move and cut such enormous, enigmatic ancient megaliths within this enormous, now lost city? It is a place which we find highly compelling. We have in the past covered the astonishing discovery solely made by Dr. Sam Osmanagat within Bosnia, long thought to have merely been a hill, completely overgrown and neglected with many locals even building upon and farming its inclines. Dr. Osmanagat, however, after studying the geology of the area, realized the reason for precise angles of this supposed natural formation, eventually confirming that it was indeed an enormous ancient pyramid. One that, after long, arduous research, has been found to rival even those of Giza, Indeed, even its plateau, especially if one takes into consideration the following exposé. Regardless of constant mockery, objections, resistance, and dismissal he has predictably experienced from mainstream-funded academia, Dr. Osmanagat has not only unearthed vast portions of this ancient structure, proving beyond doubt that it was indeed an ancient pyramid but has also successfully penetrated its inner sanctum, along with many other highly intriguing ancient sites located within the local vicinity. All littered with stones that seemingly give off resonance frequencies that are not only being ignored by mainstream scientists, but baffling all those who valiantly decide to explore their features. Yet, thanks to Jock and Sam's continued efforts, our understandings of the incomprehensible, astonishingly true scale of this site has increased dramatically, and indeed the feat that whoever built it went through in constructing the site, truly unbelievable. Jock spent 16 months as official videographer for the Archaeological Park Foundation, a Bosnian NGO non-profit organization created by Dr. Sam Osmanagat during which, and thanks to the considerable effort of hundreds of volunteers who since 2010 have been involved in the backbreaking excavations of the site, clearing many tons of rock and earth from the area, including the Ravni tunnels, such tunnels are apparently widely known locally for their healing powers, which upon investigation, many alternative investigators have recorded unusual bioelectromagnetic energy levels within. Yet, Jock and Sam's most recent personal discoveries is the connection of these tunnels 
located a fair distance from the pyramid itself, interwoven with all the local ancient sites, a result clearly intended by the past intelligence responsible for their creation. These tunnels backfilled 4,600 years ago, for reasons that many have postulated was done to avoid further degeneration of the original civilization's work. Thus, we're clearly a conservation effort that, just like I have postulated on several other videos, are the purpose for the casing stones, which can still be found upon the Great Pyramids, were done by groups who clearly revered these sites. Furthermore, regardless of this connection of tunnels, Jacques and Samir have also realized, thanks to these contributory excavation efforts, something truly astonishing regarding not only the Bosnian pyramid, but the entire surrounding area, which, just like the pyramid, were long presumed to have been merely a natural geological landscape. However, all of the curious sites that have been found dotting the surrounding area were not only undeniably man-made, but that the entire landscape was actually once carved out by hand or possibly machine. With the river Fonica, which runs through the entire site, masterfully designed to permanently remain placid, also man-made, and due to the fossilized stonework found, enabling this water's manipulation, according to Jacques, indicates it could have possibly been completed millions instead of thousands of years ago successfully creating a river which gently meanders through the site. Who built the Bosnian Plateau? Who had such tremendous earth-moving and water manipulation capabilities, seemingly many hundreds of thousands or possibly millions of years ago? As the investigations within the area continue, it is slowly growing into one of the most enormous, most compelling areas of evidence of ancient advanced lost civilization to be found anywhere on Earth. Thank you very much to Jock for bringing all this astonishing information to light, furthering all of our understandings of their past capabilities. And as the research grows, so does the compounding proof of these past highly capable civilizations. We will, of course, keep you posted through our connections, a place that is undoubtedly highly compelling. If you enjoy our content, if you think our battle worthy, please help us to continue our voyage of discovery in unraveling the mysteries of history. Links to donate can be found within the description. Without you, we cannot survive. Thank you.